Hey Biscuits, I thought I'd wear one of my fabulous gowns. Okay, actually I was filming a reel in this, but I thought this was going to be so much fun to film. Um, I want to do some of the fabulous gossip about a British royal family. Now, just remember before you get too excited about it, I don't have a horse in this game, in this bet, in this race, whatever it is. I just think it's funny that people come up with these conspiracies and gossip bits. Um, we're going to talk about some of the mean ones, some of the ones that kind of sound true, and some of the ones that I just think are interesting because you know what, it can't all be serious news in this entertainment. They had the whole coronation thing with the new king and it just made me chuckle. I mean, let's just call it old world, old world style. Okay. <laughs> so these are the first ones. Okay. So they have a new queen who's the ex mistress of the current king, now wife. Um, and my favorite of what they call her on the internet is Calmilla. And I think this is being spirited. Generally speaking, I don't think you should insult people's looks, especially if you don't know them. I mean, maybe family members. <laughs> but given her history, I don't feel as kindly disposed to her because she doesn't seem like a very kind woman. Uh, and so I'm just, yeah, I'm less inclined to giving her the benefit of the doubt. Um, Camilla, I think, is hysterical. I don't, is that, what does it, being a cow mean as a woman? I know it's a derogatory statement. Being a cow. Maybe just like being unattractive, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But I love, Camilla just sounds like something that would battle Godzilla and she seems like the kind of lady with nerves of steel who could battle Godzilla and she would win because I gotta say she hung on for the long run right yeah I mean I don't so a lot of this stuff predates me but I'm aware that she broke up the marriage with the people's princess who we're all on the side of um and did all sorts of terrible things to her so not a very nice lady so we're gonna go with Camilla I like that I think <laughs> I think it's a great insult to that must okay British biscuits that are on here how do you feel about having a new queen with her history do you feel like it lessens the royal family that it seems more muddled and lowly now I feel like it does I feel like it lessens it um, considerably to have somebody like that as queen like that is undeserved okay I've heard this said multiple different ways but the current king in waiting, next in line, the prince feller. They like to call him Pagerton. Now this one, I think, I think it's a little mean spirited because I think it's about his proclivities in his personal life and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I would come up with some kind of insult for the fact that he sounds like a rage monster that like beats up people all the time. I mean, so they say it hasn't been proven in a court of law. I have no idea if any of this stuff is true. I obviously don't know these people, but they are out there taking public money to be public. So we're going to talk about them. <laughs> I feel like it's a particular, particular genre there. Um, yeah, my favorite was his description as like a, a thumb, like he looks like a thumb and he does. Those genes have not been kind. I kind of think like unhappy, miserable, angry people, they end up looking that way later in life. And I feel like he's definitely gotten the aesthetic that, that his little heart deserves. Isn't that sad? That makes me sad that somebody with so much privilege and opportunity to make the best in life has chosen to create such a smaller world for himself. And that goes for the whole royal family is, boy, what a shame to not use that for the betterment of more people. Um, yeah, I guess you just become so insulated within your own world that you don't even think to do those things for people, but yeah. Oh, okay. This is one of my favorite ones. Super misogynistic. Oh my goodness. So the now current princess of Wales, uh, Mr. Grumpy Pants, his wife has a mom who apparently like runs the whole show. And I love this because how long have they blamed men's poor actions on like mothers or mother-in-laws who are ruining the whole thing and running it all? I don't know. That lady has my respect. She like social climbed. We're going to use that as the positive quite incredibly created an incredible big business that clearly like supported them all I don't know what the business is I don't know how above board it is but like that lady hustled she turned her side gig into a major business she married her kids off to people that she wanted to I, I bow down to that that is 
that's like positive planning whereas Calmilla kind of has used all her calculation for for evil perhaps but perhaps the the mama of the princess has used hers for moderately less evil <laughs> but I love the conspiracies when like the moms are in charge you know it's like yes as a mother myself I know how much my children listen to exactly what I say and do precisely what I tell them. They're easily controlled. In no way do they have opinions of their own. It's so powerful being a mom. Everyone listens to you. That was said with sarcasm. Yeah. I, I, whenever I hear these things, I'm like, really? These growing people with power, money, and privilege are listening to this one woman who's like leading them astray. I just don't think that's very realistic, Biscuits. I'm going to be totally honest with you. As a mama, I don't think they listen to us very much. You tell me in the comments, do your kids, would your kids do what you told them just blindly? I mean, I want to know your secret if they do. Oh, oh, okay. King Charles, the new guy that just got his little coronation boblet. Boy, that thing looked boring. I tried to watch some of it because I was like, I love period piece English romance novels. Like that is my thing, the dirtier the better. And I thought, well, maybe this is fun inspo. No, it was not fun inspo. I like the little capes they wore though. Those were jaunty. I was like, I'm gonna write a cape scene in. Like, you know, oh, well, I'm stuck in my cape. Could you help me get out of it? Nope, sell for a future book. Okay, th this is, by the way, for the record, no evidence to this. I am just repeating gossip. Uh-huh. Thank you. Not proven in court of law. That King Charles has been paid off continually in large suitcases of cash that supposedly go to a foundation. But do they? Oh, I mean, okay. Yeah. Like, all these world leaders are super corrupt. Like, okay, look at our current president, current Biden. The interesting financial shenanigans, let me put it that way. Previous president, President Trump, very interesting financial shenanigans. Can you think of a, a quote world leader that does not have like, I mean, we say shady financial dealings, but like, are they even shady? It just seems like the rules don't apply to you when you get above a certain point. Us little people, the rules are applied to and they will cross you like into sand. But yeah, I can totally believe that he's being paid off in suitcases of cash. I don't know, what would you pay off King Charles for? Like, what can he do for you? Does he have little, okay, British Biscuits, again, inform us in the comments, what can King Charles do? Like, can he get you a business license that somebody was denying you? Could he get you citizenship? I'm trying to think what you would buy off of him. Can he get you influence like in the government? I thought they were supposed to be separated with the royal family here and the government, you know, not intertwining. But maybe that's not the case. That's just my perception of it as an American. Yeah, I'm kind of, okay, tell me, I want to know. I love that all, universally, all the gossip I could find about the British royal family is supremely negative and really very mean-spirited. Like, I'm not even including the really mean stuff that I was like, well, that's going a little far. Um, wow, there are, there are some big conspiracies about them. There is some, wow, yeah, people, people don't like them. There's a lot of anger there. It's fascinating. I feel like there's the boat of unquestioning royal family, always been there, always going to be there. It just is what it is. But I don't hear a lot of love on that side. And then there's like a lot of vitriol of aggression and dislike towards them, <laughs> which surprises me. I didn't realize they were quite so disliked. Um, as an American, my perception is, oh, fun jewels jaunty outfits at state dinners. Isn't it a little quaint that the British still have a royal family? Um, how cute. Uh, yeah, America does not. We don't go in for that kind of thing. We want our sir libraries to be people who have nice bottoms and or are highly corrupt politicians who inspire us to corruption. <laughs> That's who we like to admire. So maybe the British have the right idea, who knows? <laughs> but I just felt like being a little goofy today so thanks for coming along. I'm going to see you over on Patreon. Oh, uh-huh, come on over. That's right. For the price of like, what, give up one little coffee out or like one pastry out this month and put that money towards Patreon because, oh my God, the self-care community on there, you are going to love it. It is luscious. It is gorgeous. It is playful. Come join on there and I will see you over on my next Patreon video.